Here we are on a database server where we have SQL Server 2016 installed and we have our management tool, SQL Server Management Studio, opened up and ready to go. I also have a connection to this server and you can see that we already have some databases on here, but we want to start from scratch. So we're going to create a brand new database. We can easily do that by right clicking on the databases node and choosing new database. Here we can give it a name. I'll call this MyDB. That's about all we need to do. This will create the underlying files that make up this database. There are two of them a primary file where all of our data and our objects go, and a log file, which is essentially a staging area for all modifications to data and objects. That way we can roll forward and roll backward any changes that happen in this database. So this looks good, we'll hit OK, and that's all there is to it. We now have a fresh, empty database ready to go. Now our next step is to create some database objects. Specifically here, we need some tables so we can put some data inside of this database. You can see currently there are no tables inside of here, and there are a couple of ways to do this. We can use the structured query language, which is what we're gonna do here. I've got a couple of scripts that we're gonna walk through to, uh, to create these tables. You can also use the GUI, the graphical user interface here. There are designers associated with almost every database object. So this is a nice, easy way to do it graphically. Enter in your column name, choose your data type, if you wish to allow empty values or not, what are known as nulls, and then you can set properties for each column that you define. So that's one way to do it, but of course, using the GUI doesn't make it very repeatable. Using the structured query language, we can easily recreate these tables at any moment. 